This particular accordion pocket was created utilizing three toilet paper rolls. I saw this construction on another channel called Craft Along With Me. I thought it was a great idea, so I thought I would put my own design spin on it with the gel press print that I have utilized here. So I hope you will join me for the next 10 minutes to create this toilet paper pocket. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. And of course, that notification bell does let you know when I upload additional content. And I'm right now building an idea journal in my studio or in my channel for my Facebook group. And I hope you will, will join us. I am cutting those toilet paper rolls into half or just, you know, opening them up by cutting down one side and we will spritz them with a little bit of water to flatten them out. I'm pulling in an iron and just will iron them flat. Once I have them flattened out and dried, I'm going to take them to my paper cutter and just even off the edges because I want a nice, crisp, clean edge. So we will just even those up. And the final cut will be one that um, reduces the size of the third toilet paper roll to create that little flap. So I want it to be about an inch and a half to two inches <clears throat> for that flap. Just making sure I'm cutting cutting along the right the right dimension there. And there is our flap. So I have a bottle cap that I am just using as a template to round off these corners. So I'm just sketching around the outside edge and now I'll cut along that line. And that creates a nice little rounded corner for that, for that fold over. Pulling in this gel press that was a pull done on coffee stained paper. And we'll glue all three pieces down and trim around the outside edges of those. This is a coffee stain paper that was pulled off the gel press. When I create a journal, I like to do a lot of gel press prints that I can utilize on the inside of the book for the ephemera and the things I build. Then I have some color continuity within the, within the book. <clears throat> we'll just trim that up. And once trimmed, I'm going to glue it down to a piece of coffee stained paper. And within this book, I have done some stamping on some paper to create some pieces. So I'm going to carry through with that same type of stamping once I get all of these cut out and trimmed up. That's black ink and a script stamp and just randomly hitting that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm using the, um, not black ink, but vintage photo. And then I have a, a butterfly stamp that I am just randomly putting on that as well. And that will be the inside of that little pocket. Now to create that accordion fold, I have just folded a piece of paper and I have scored it at a quarter inch, one half inch, one half inch, one half inch, a quarter inch. And that creates that accordion fold. I did an eight and a half sheet of paper. I will glue it onto one side, trim it off, and then glue it onto the other. <clears throat> And that is what creates that accordion fold for us. We just trim that off. And now to glue the other piece on, I'm going to glue one, that one side of that second piece on. Then I will take this over to my sewing machine and sew down that quarter inch strip on the three sides and then all the way around the second side as well. So when we glue that together like this, it appears as though it has all been sewn. So 
off to the sewing machine, sew around the edges. Now that that is sewn, we will glue that final, final little one quarter inch strip to the fourth side. To create the bottom and the flap, we will use this piece of sari silk and I am going to iron that to flatten that out so I can glue this appropriately along the bottom edges of the pocket and along gluing the flap to the top, if you will. So that gets it flattened out and, and easier for us to glue down. So let's just put a little strip of glue here at the bottom and fold that over and glue it to the other side, leaving a, a little um, looseness to open up and the same with the flap. And I'm using an art glitter glue and I'm just gluing that down. Now that folds over nice. And you can see that it opens up into that accordion, accordion fold. See how simple this is to put together? And just trim that, sorry, silk off. And there we have a nice little, nice little pocket. Now, the appropriate thing to have done would have been to put my my one brad piece on while it was open but we are going to struggle with that and i will show you how i get that get that on here but um punching out four circles and i will stamp those all with that script stamp and the vintage photo ink then i will glue two together to create some strength and poke a hole right in the center of them to accept the brad. The ink around the outside edges of those as well. And I will glue some sorry silk into the middle of two of these. So I have the one circle. I'm going to glue the sari silk and staple it on the inside and then I will glue the other piece to the top of that and that just secures that sari silk for, for when we tie tie the two together. So I will put the one with the sari silk on the flap, the ink around the outside edge of it, And I have the brad stuck in that. And now I'm just going to poke a hole through that flap and pull that brad through. And that adheres that or attaches that to that flap. And now this is where we could have put this piece on before we glued the two pieces together. And that would have been easier but I am going to struggle with getting that brad opened up with this connected. And it can be done. But, you know, <laughs> for all intents and purposes, it would have been much easier had I attached this before I glued that second accordion piece. So keep that in mind when you're putting your booklet together. Or maybe if my hands are smaller, this would be easier. How about that? So the struggle is over. I have gotten that on. And it ties nicely into the closure. And that completes the toilet paper roll pocket. So I just trim that sorry silk up and you have the completed piece that folds, accordion folds together. So I think it makes a nice uh, piece of ephemera to tuck under a belly band, tuck inside the tuck pocket or attach with a paper clip. My name is Peg. 
I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you take a moment and subscribe. And that notification bell, of course, lets you know when I upload additional content. I appreciate your comments. I always appreciate your likes. And if you would like to come on over to Facebook, my group is Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Love to see you there. Bye for now.